Hi, my name is Ron Dharma from Hewlett Packard Enterprise Software Defined Cloud Group TME team. I use SimpliVity OmniStack REST API to build the live demo labs that are being used by the field team in the world. You can see that live demo environments require a set of certain numbers of virtual machines and a set of certain numbers of the SimpliVity data stores and also a set of certain numbers of backup policies and in each of this backup policy there are also a, a set of certain numbers of rules and then these are required to perform the demo cadence. Now this video captured the applications to automate the setup of this live demo labs and then this application is based on the SimpliVity REST API. Now let's move on to see the implementation of the key OmniStack REST API call such as this function to establish an API session to the OmniStack controller. Now it will be using the valid administrator username and password. Once the authentication succeeds, a session token will be returned. And this token will be required to make the OmniStack REST API call for any SimpliVity features. Now there's another key function. It's called the invoke OmniStack REST. It handles actually any exceptions that return from the REST API call to the OmniStack. This routine handles a scenario where session token has expired, intercepting the expiration status, and re-establish a new session using the existing credentials. It also handles any unknown exception. But lastly, it handles REST API call using put or delete method, where it needs to serialize the call using the get OmniStack task routine to guarantee the completion. Now let's look at the get OmniStack task routine using this tool and here we found the get OmniStack task routine. Now it will validate if the REST API call to the OmniStack controller has completed successfully. Now all other REST API calls such as this one, the basic invoke um, um, copy OmniStack VM function, will perform the OmniStack clone using the URI syntax clone for feed and feeds all the parameters and executes the call by invoke OmniStack REST. Now let's look at the application that sits on top of the PowerShell module and we will pr perform the deploy policies and here in this application it will create the backup policies and rules for the SimpliVity field demo. Now let's look at the functions from this application that use the PowerShell module. Now these options will invoke the fixed rules policies function and this function compares if the existing backup policy in the SimpliVity federations is match the uh, reference backup policy. If the backup policy does not patch then it will perform two cases. One case is to delete any undesired rules and also the policy itself. Now the function to destroy the policy and rules is implemented in the PowerShell module. Now, same to be said about the function to recreate the reference backup policy and rules. It uses the PowerShell module function that encapsulates REST API calls to create backup policies, object, and module. Now, let's see the demo of the functions to compose the five reference backup policies with lots of rules underneath each policy. Currently, in the federation called Barcelona, there's no existing reference backup policies. Only the default backup policy exists. Now, I'm going to start the deployment for the policies, enter the federation name and the actions, which is deploy policies. Now, we see the script started and scripts added the policies into the Barcelona federation based on this log. Now, going back into the SimpliVity federation, inside the backup policies menu we can see growth of the policies and rules uh, to be add that that were added into each policies now there is a significant amount number of the policies and rules that were added and then these are all added using automation simplicity backup policies and rules were added into demo federation that is going to be used by the worldwide hpe field team Without the automation based on the REST API, you can imagine the amount of time required to build this backup policies and rules. Now the uh, automation still running in the background. It's still continuously adding more policies and rules. And the automation has completed. To compose 
four sets of Subplivity data stores, load the Windows and Linux OVA into each federation, and populate these federations up to 16 different virtual machines with unique names. Now, these virtual machines are part of the demo kit, and we will actually perform the same type of a call. We provide the federation named Barcelona, an action called the Deploy Virtual Machine or Deploy VM. Now, the action has been started, and you can see that I use a combination of the VMware PowerCLI modules and Simplivity REST API modules in addition to Microsoft Windows AD PowerShell module. I started the automation script using the options deploy VMs and it started by creating the four data store, two in each cluster, and then they are associated with a backup policy. Then the automation will import both the Linux and also Windows OVA template. Now I speed up the time for deployment as it allows me to fit this demo within the allotted time. Now once the virtual machine that is used as a template is completely loaded into the Simplivity Federation, I use the Simplivity REST API PowerShell module to clone the virtual machines into lots of different virtual machines with unique naming. So you can see now, even though the time that it takes to compose the workloads may be long, but the ability to run these automations allows me to concentrate on another project or work that is most important. And then eventually, the virtual machine's populations finally completed. All the virtual machines are populated. And this shows that uh, power of the Simplivity REST API to allow me to build the live demo environments for the field team. So this concludes the demo of the automation for populating the virtual machine using the REST API.